Welcome to another edition of uh, Coding with Chapa. I'm Chapa. Coffee. Let's code. So the first thing I want to talk about is this console thing. Uh, the console uh, option is a really good option because it allows us to practice writing functions or scripts or basically code without the uh, additional um, GUIs, um, graphical user interface, uh, forms, or any of the extra stuff. So we can concentrate on just purely the code. Um, so yeah, it simplifies the learning process. Um, another reason for using consoles is that when you when we write in the console, um, it's just cleaner. Um, and the nice thing about consoles too is that the code that we write in a console will still work if we uh, if we throw it into a uh, into a form application or a Windows application of some type. Yes, the uh, the the module will look different as far as the class and uh, the main method, but the code that you actually write, the functions themselves, will will work. So I'm going to give a, a demonstration of uh, how to get to the console and. Uh, how to uh, how to use a console app. All right. So the first thing is we go to File, New, Project, and we're going to use our, our Visual Basic, which we all love. And over here, this time instead of choosing a uh, a Windows application like we normally would do. Um, I think we usually do a form app, yeah, Windows form app right here. This time we're going to choose the Windows console uh, application. And we want uh, this one right here, console app.net framework. And that's my dog snoring over there. <laughs> so uh, this time I'm just going to leave the, the naming alone, but normally you could you change that to your name and then whatever the assignment is. So I'll just click OK. It'll create our project as usual. Now, the difference here, you'll see some differences. Uh, so now, this time, um, it just takes us straight to the code. There's no, there's no form. There's no tool. Uh, as far as the toolbox goes, there's nothing here to uh, to add to it because there, there is no form. There is no web design. This is purely a uh, a program that runs on the system without without being. It's not meant to be communicating with the user. Uh, another reason that uh, consoles are important um, sometimes and maybe even often depending on your job you're going to write programs that don't require a user to to inter, uh, to interact with the program uh, it'll be a program that you write that runs on its own a maintenance program of some type that does something every day at a certain time or a certain time of the month or, or only when, when an event happens, uh, something fails, so it triggers and it does its thing, whether it's generating an email or, or writing to a, a document or something along those lines. So programs that don't require a user interface, our console applications will come in really handy for that. And it is a common thing that happens all the time. Okay, so we'll go over an example of writing one of these here in a moment. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a text file somewhere on our system that allow us to uh, output our data somewhere. So in my C directory, I went ahead and created a text file right here called output.txt. Uh, there's nothing in it. It's just an empty .txt file. And you can think of this as your log, where you would uh, throw things into your log every time a program ran or there's an error, anything along those lines. So let's close that up and move this out of the way. And uh, let's get to work here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to import a couple of uh, references that we need. So we're going to import system.io so our system can communicate with the input output. And also uh, import... Uh, System.txt, and that is so that we can write. Okay, so having done that, the next thing we're going to do is 
we need to declare a few variables. Um, I need the uh, actually we're going to use subroutine here. And I'll explain all this in a minute here. Okay, so, so far, what have I done? Um, we referenced system IO so that we can access the input output. We referenced system text so we can write. Uh, we created a, we created two objects, one called uh, dim object stream writer. And so that's so that we can access the stream writer so we can actually uh, write to the input output. We created a variable called X. Uh, we didn't need to use long. Um, but it's going to be basically just be for tracking our integer. Um, well, in fact, let's just change that over to 216. And um, we have our open file. We're going to open. We're going to open the uh, stream writer, and we're going to say, "Okay, new stream writer." We're going to output to our text file, which uh, we created. Uh, we talk about the encoding. It's going to be Unicode. And then we want to create a new line so that, that way it always starts on a, on a new line. And then uh, just a little for loop here so that we can uh, output some numbers. Um, that's it. We're going to do one more little thing just to, to add a little more fun to this. Let's see. That's Extreme Writer. Um, let's go ahead and create a new line. 
Mm. Oh, I just forget to do this part. Got to write over. Last but not least, we always need to close the file. And clean up our code. Okay, so now we're going to uh, open the file. I'll put some, we're going to, we're opening the .txt file here. We created a new line. We're going to write our numbers 1 through 10. We're going to create a new line. And then we're going to output something interesting. And then we're going to close the file. But this could run in the background of some application that you write um, that um, every time there's an error or you want to track something, it outputs something to a text file or basic, or your log, whatever it is you want to run. So let's go ahead and run this. And it's just done. Boom. There's nothing. There's no interaction. No, nothing to look at. I open up the uh, output uh, the output dot text file, and we have our numbers, and then something interesting. So what happens if I ran it again? Open it up again, and it repeated itself. So it's just rewriting. Uh, it's just writing over and over again to the same dot text file. Like I said, this could be the equivalent of your log. You could be putting out the date and time and uh, information about some error. Um, you know, whatever you want to. Um, so I've run it three times, and there it is. Just keeps adding to the log, or in this case, the output.txt file. So that's um, how you run. Uh, that's basically the, the console uh, option to write to your to the console. Uh, it's not meant to have a user interface. You can require you you can write programs where you uh, want the, the user to to input data into the console. But for the most part, like I said, these types of programs are runs because they're running in the background and they don't require any user interface. They're cleaner. There's no GUI. Just do your thing. Um, it's a good. It's a good way to to learn how to how to how to code. Um, in fact, most of our code should probably be as this is an introduction to programming. We probably should be using uh, uh, consoles to learn how to code the you know to concentrate on the principles of programming versus actually uh, writing GUIs and stuff. But uh, still good. Um, 